people. This is the Impact Morning Show in your life on DLTV and on all our social media handles right from our studio at the Accra Sports Stadium, Ghana. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. I am Christabel Owusu and with me in the studio is... And as usual, we bring to your doorstep interesting content that would impact your life for a better future. And today is nothing different. We have prepared three engaging and educative content to serve you our viewers. But before that, let's go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back viewers and thank you for staying to the once again this is the impact morning show so Christabel today is the third day of the Ghana edition of the global crusade and already we are hearing mind-blowing testimonies and overwhelming stories let's just hope today isn't anything different yes I know our viewers today have great expectations for today's session and I strongly believe they would not be disappointed Certainly not and so viewers without much ado we'd want to quickly launch into the varieties we have for this morning and so the first on the list is who is Jesus? There's this young gentleman who is here to tell us who Jesus is from each book of the Bible. Shall we, viewers, with a round of applause, welcome Stephen Osei Obusu. Let's talk about Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory as of the glory of the only begotten of the Father. This Word is immortal and eternal. And throughout, even before His incarnation in the womb of the Virgin Mary, He had been with us all through time. And in every book of the Bible, He is presented uniquely to us. Because in the book of Genesis, Jesus is seen as the seed of the woman. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the great high priest. In Numbers, he's the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Numbers, he's the pillar of cloud and fire by day and by night. In Deuteronomy, Jesus is the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he is the commander of the Lord's army. In Judges, he is our great judge and lawgiver. And in Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, Jesus Christ is the seed of David. And in Kings and Chronicles, he is the great king whose kingdom has no end. His term never expires. In Ezra, he is our faithful scribe. And in Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of the broken down walls and everything that is broken down in your life. In Esther, like Mordecai, Jesus is our advocate. And in Job, he is our redeemer that ever liveth. On another last day, I shall see him. Hallelujah. And in Psalms, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Jesus is my refuge and my fortress. In Proverbs, he is the wisdom of God higher than that of Solomon. And in Ecclesiastes, he gives us the meaning for life. He is our true meaning for life. And in Songs of Solomon, Jesus is the loving bridegroom. And in Isaiah, he is the Prince of Peace. Emmanuel. In Jeremiah and Lamentations, Jesus is the weeping prophet. And in Ezekiel, he's the four-faced man, the Lord full of glory. And in Daniel, he's the fourth man in the fiery furnace. In Hosea, Jesus is the faithful husband. In Joel, he's the outpourer of the Holy Spirit. And in Amos, he's our burden bearer. In Obadiah, he's our savior and our judge. And in Jonah, Jesus is the risk prophet and a missionary sent to the ends of the earth. And in Micah, he's the ruler to the world from Bethlehem. In Nehum, he's our stronghold in the day of trouble. And in Habakkuk, Jesus is the watchman set on the tower. In Zephaniah, the Lord is mighty to save. In Haggai, he's our restorer, bringing revival. And in Zechariah, Jesus is the branch of David, the one pierced for our sakes. And in Malachi, he's the son of righteousness, risen with healing on his wings. Let's go to Matthew. 
behold the king of the Jews, the Messiah. Thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. In Mark is the servant and the healer. In Luke is the baby in the manger, the son of man. And in John is the way, truth, and life, the living word of God. And in Acts of the Apostles, he's our risen and ascended Savior into heaven. And he's the Savior of the whole world, even the Gentiles. In Romans, he's our justifier. And in 1 Corinthians, Jesus is the resurrection. In 2 Corinthians, he's our comfort. And in Galatians, he's our liberty. In him, we have freedom. And in Ephesians, he's the head of the church triumphant. In Philippians, Jesus is our joy, causing us to rejoice in every circumstance. And in Colossians, he's our completeness. In him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And in First and Second Thessalonians, he's our coming king. In First and Second Timothy, there's one mediator between man and God, the man Jesus. And in Titus, he's our blessed hope. In Philemon, he's our benefactor. In Hebrews, he's our perfection, the author and the finisher of our faith. In James, he is the power behind our faith. And in First and Second Peter, Jesus, the bishop of our souls, the chief cornerstone. In First, Second, and Third John, Jesus is the truth and everlasting life. And in Jude, he is the firm and sure foundation of our faith, our security. In him we are safe. And in Revelations, lift up your heads, church. He is King of kings and he is Lord of lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. But hold on, hold on. Why don't we roll back to the Gospel of John and see how the disciple whom Jesus loved presented him to us uniquely in every chapter of that book called John. In John chapter 1, he's presented as the Word of God made flesh. John said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. In chapter 2, Jesus is seen as the miracle water, turning water to wine, the great miracle worker indeed. And in John chapter 3, he is a great teacher, teaching the great Pharisee the way to eternal life. In John chapter 4, Jesus is the compassionate soul winner, seated by this, the well of Jacob in Samaria. And in John chapter 5, by the pool of Bethesda, we see the great physician Jesus. Take up thy bed and walk. And in John chapter 6, he is the bread of life. In John chapter 7, Jesus is the water of life. In John chapter 8, he is the defender of the weak. Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. In John chapter 9, he is the light of the world. In John chapter 10, he is the good shepherd. And he is the door of the sheep. In John chapter 11, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. In chapter 12, our Jesus is the king of the Jews, riding into Jerusalem on an ass. In John chapter 13, he assumes the place of a humble servant in washing the disciples' feet. And in John chapter 14, he is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the blessed consoler. In John chapter 15, he said, I am the true vine. Jesus is our true vine. In John chapter 16, he is the giver of the spirit. And in John chapter 17, we see the great intercessor making great and priestly intercession for our sake and in John chapter 18 he is the suffering Messiah in John chapter 19 he is the uplifted Messiah uplifted Savior on Calvary in John chapter 20 shout hallelujah he is the victor over sin and over death and over the grave he arose from the dead and in John chapter 21 he is the restorer of the broken even penitent Peter our Lord has always been victorious and will ever be victorious for even as a baby Herod couldn't kill him the Pharisees couldn't confuse him as a teacher the grave couldn't hold him back Nero couldn't crush him Hitler couldn't silence him other religions of the world cannot replace him and the leaders and governments and philosophers of this world cannot explain him away his ways are right his word is eternal his will is unchanging and his mind is on us even me he's my hope he's my joy he's my peace he's my everything he's my Lord and the ruler of my life and can I hear the name shout his name he's the son of the living God shout his name Wow, that was really amazing. That was Thank wonderful. You, I and I believe you, I our viewers you. can do much better for him. They can do much better for him. You know, you know, Gideon, there is something about Jesus that each passing day, you get to know something new about Jesus that you would never Some think of. Some of the mentioned I didn't even know. Me neither. I think we need to take our... We really should. We really should. In the next five minutes, viewers, we are going to witness a beautiful display of artwork by a young gentleman who is going to give us a portrait painting using the gold dust method. Without much words, without much ado, let's welcome Gamshi on stage.
Facebook pages, you can tag at DCLM Ghana, at DCLM HQ, DLSO Ghana. On Facebook, you can tag at DLSO Ghana with a hashtag Impact Academy with Queen. And tell us your guesses. Who do you think Gamshi is painting at the moment? Read it out loud to everyone. in the Lord Pastor Dr. W.F. Kui. Let us all, with a round of applause, welcome Mavis Akako. days and we celebrate the golden jubilee in a special way of the ministry of a living legend of our time one of the greatest teachers of the bible the sacrifice in 1973 to date all began with 15 people who yearned more for the word of god and tangled in emptiness into adulthood when sin carved the ankles of their souls and they live in iniquity as in holes at the Bible studies back in the day, the truth was imparted in pure bay. The truth that was rejected like the fallen field neglected was resuscitated by a man with Christ-like identity who wore humility through simplicity, walk his stock according to his call, swimming against the tide, winning both respect and disdain, living in a world of wrath, others may, but he cannot. Now, with a digital addiction influencing the world negatively, young professionals, adults, children and youth alike to find pleasure in pressure, to be measured as treasure, standing to preserve the legacy, to protect Christ to the world in ecstasy, remembering generations yet unborn as the injunction was given by the man. 
you and I changed by the dynamic philosopher from humanity to divinity, discharging the duty of the dispensation, from discovery to recovery, empowered to soar high, far more than the ego can hide, filled with indescribable passion, ready on the mission to fulfill the heavenly vision. The vision is yet for an appointed time. And we haste to reach out to the lost souls, briskly redeeming the time because the days are evil. Knowing that the loving Lord took our place, making us beneficiaries of his death through grace, commissioned to preach the gospel to every creature and to all come to the knowledge of the rapture. Having been emancipated and eliminated from enmity, we run the race set before us in eternity, not to labor in prosperity or are thoughtless of prosperity, nor store in obscurity, neither run we in vanity nor bet in calamity. But we, empowered by Immanuel, run the race set before us in eternity, made for the mastery, pondering the price, awaiting the supersonic flight, Christ being the surety for our death, never lag behind. And while we celebrate, let us keep it this way, that the best way to celebrate is to keep the path of faith, that which he has saved. Let us not forget the vision. Let us run with a mission, endlessly contending for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Our Father in the Lord, we the youth want to thank you for giving yourself to the Lord. And we are here to learn from you and to preserve the legacy, faith of our fathers. Thank you. Wow, 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 that was wow. that was really awesome. That was wow. you know, Gideon, something about spoken words that I really love. I believe they speak to the soul till they calm you. Yes. educated entertained and above all impacted as we all have been once again my name is Christabel Lousu and I am Gideon Tay have a good morning we leave you to enjoy the rest of the service have a nice day